Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Bryce. I'm with Susquehanna Valley High School, and there's my email address if you want to contact me. We're doing Algebra 1 Common Core Regents that was done on Thursday, June 16, 2016, and we are on number 20. Number 20 says the dot plot shown below represents the number of pets owned by students in a class. Uh, which statement about the data is not true? I am looking for the false information. So before doing the video, I counted up that there are 20 dots. Normally, we would cover up the choices. However, we just have to figure out which one is not true. Okay. Now, what do I know about this without even looking uh, at the answers? I know the interesting thing is that there's no tail. There's no tail to the right. There's no tail to the left. No tail. See, a tail would be like... And then, boink, boink. Or even a worse tail would be space, 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 tail. Okay? Um, they don't all have to be the same height. You know, they can be different heights. So that is something with a tail. So I know this doesn't have a tail. It's nicely distributed. It looks like a hmm, hay mound. Okay. So the median. The median is the middle number. So if there are 20 dots, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, and then there are 10 on the other side. So that is the median. The median is 3. True. Okay, to find the interquartile range, you'll notice that I wrote out all the numbers. And while I was writing out the numbers, I counted them all up, and there were only 18. So I had to check them again, and I squeezed a 2 in there and a three in there because I didn't have the right all the right numbers written down. Now that I do, you check them, make sure they're all there. Okay, I wrote out all the, all the numbers because I had to find the interquartile range. Interquartile range. You find the middle. And the middle is right there. And the way that I find the middle is I just pair up the first and the last, the first and the last, and so on. So the middle is right between three and three. Now I find the middle of the bottom half. And the middle of the bottom half is right there, just doing the same thing. You pair them up, you pair them up, so it's two. Two is in the middle. Now I find the middle of the top half. The middle of the top half is right there, right between four and four. So this is the first quarter. Three is the second quarter. And four is the third quarter. And it says the interquartile range, four minus two is two. That's true. The mean is three. Add up all those numbers. And the sum is 55. 55 divided by 20 is not 3. So that one is wrong. That's the false one. The data has no outliers. As we already said, it doesn't have any tail. So that also means that there are no outliers. So we always check all the answers in case there's one more wrong than another. The worst answer is 3, which happens to be the best answer because we want to know what's not true. Hang on for your question. The question for you to answer and hand in is, what is the interquartile range of this dot plot? What is the interquartile range of this dot plot? There's a little nuance difference on this one than on the example. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask. Catch you later. Bye.